charge you a woo at me. There's two. Two puppies? I know where you're putting yourself, which is in the pathway where my hands are gonna go, but I gotta do these forearm curls, okay? Good morning. Welcome back. It is a very cold day here in the gym. It's a nice blistering 18 degrees outside. And uh, that doesn't translate to being very warm here in the gym either. It's currently somewhere between 35 and 45. But we've got chest and arms today. Uh, we got a bit of a late start here. Not crazy late, but a couple minutes late here. So we want to get kicking off right into this. We're going to be starting off with some dumbbell flies and a little bit of incline bench. And then we're going to move right over to some arm exercises. So it's going to be a busy workout. Um, it's going to be a good workout, though. I'm feeling it. I'm pumped. I'm excited. I'm really looking forward to getting these dumbbell flies started here um, and then moving on over to our bench. The, the bench itself, I don't know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I just kind of felt like doing it today, the incline bench. So we're going to set up a safety, make sure we can take it to failure, but we're going to hit that thing pretty freaking hard. So let's get after it. All right, let's do a little bit of warm, warm up here. All right, let's smash these, huh? Fantastic. I love the stretch those are giving right now. Ah. That's giving a uh, really good deep stretch across the whole pec. So on the second set here, I'm going to be focused on lining up exactly as I had with regards to my form there. That was perfect. That was great. We our shoulders pinched back. We were keeping them moving in the ROM, not letting them get necessarily too deep, which is kind of hard to do but more importantly, not too high up here so that we lose tension. And I'm gonna really focus in on coming down and just holding it there for a second as well, like uh, almost an exaggerated two seconds. All right, number two. So good. Oh, man. You know, sometimes a particular exercise just really jives with us. Maybe for just a day, maybe for a month, a year. But today, this dumbbell fly is just getting along perfectly with me. It feels great, dude. Deep stretches and contractions. I'm loving it. All right, third and final set here. Same thing, not getting fancy. Just gonna be doing as good as form as possible with a nice stretch there at the end. That felt so good. We're gonna do that again. Uh. 
Oh, you know, even just doing an empty bar right there, we did a really good job. We did a really good job pre-exhausting our pecs with those flies, man. Whew. This is going to be a fun one. All right, let's smash these out, huh? We've got 185 keyed up here on the bar. We're gonna have to work for this one, I feel, but uh, it's gonna be good. Let's get after it. That was tough, but that felt smooth. It felt good. It felt honestly aligned just perfectly. It's heavy, um, but that kind of heavy where you, you can kind of yell at yourself internally and be like, come on, you got this. Don't give up on it. That's a good one. All right, let's do it. <sighs> Oh man, yeah, gosh, that's a good, uh, that's a good feeling. It's been an interesting start to the year so far in a good way. And it, it's keeping us busy. It's certainly keeping me occupied, you know, producing all this content, working on getting this channel moving and grooving and all the other plans we have for starting this gym and actually getting the funding for it. So I have a feeling it's going to be a full year of some hard work real hard work and I'm excited about it. I am invigorated by it, motivated by it. It's going to be such a challenge in so many ways, but a very, very enjoyable one. So let's just tackle those challenges head on, man. Not be afraid of them. Not be afraid of failure. We might stumble. We might make mistakes. That's only natural, making mistakes. We all have to make mistakes in order to advance. So I will welcome the mistakes with open arms and as much grace as possible to learn from them and apply that even quicker. But we're going to be busting our tails, man, in the gym, out of the gym, in all aspects of our life. 2024 is going to be a year of work. I can already tell, and I'm grateful for the chance to do that. And I'm really excited to see where all this stuff is in just a couple months. It's going to be great. All right, one more set here. This is going to be a tough one, I can tell. I can feel it for sure. Let's just get after it. Oh, that was it. Whew. Man, I'm not going to lie. Before I started that last rep there, I was really questioning whether or not I was going to be able to finish it. <laughs> All right, let's go do some triceps. All right, we are good and warmed up here for some skull crushers. Um, the incline bench certainly warmed up our triceps a good amount. I'm feeling pretty good overall here. Elbows are feeling nice. So we're going to get right into these skull crushers. And crank them out.
Yeah, that's feeling pretty damn good. I'm enjoying that. You know, I think a lot of people would shy away from the amount of work some things take. And we all, I think, get scared at times of like, oh my gosh, look how much time this is going to take, effort, energy. Where is that going to leave me for these other things I want to do or need to do? And it is a pretty uh, daunting task to try to balance all that stuff. I can't say, you know, even at this point I've perfected it. These videos, they don't take no time at all. They, they take a good amount of time for each video, editing them, getting them posted. But it's, on one hand, easy in that it doesn't feel like work work, right? Perhaps it goes back to that old saying of, you know, find something you love and you never work a day in your life. I can't say that that's 100% accurate. It's still to a degree work. You know, there's still stuff that has to be done. But it's so enjoyable, and it doesn't feel like it's a slog to go and do it. Maybe that'll change, though. We're still so early on in this. It's certainly in its infant stage. But I got a feeling that we're just going to get better and better and better, more efficient, and better able to manage that time and actually get all this stuff done. All right, number two. Whew. I've talked about this before, but I feel like the gym exercise, working out, really teaches us the patience that's required to put in all that time, effort, energy into something whose benefit we're not going to see for quite some time. Delayed gratification. It's something our generation, the millennial generation, struggles with a lot. We grew up in a world that rapidly evolved to be instant. I don't like that commercial. Skip it after five seconds. That Instagram post, scroll past it, Facebook, Reddit. I don't like this YouTube video, change it. Instant. We didn't have to wait as much. It's a tough thing to overcome, but I think the gym can teach us those principles of delayed gratification and show us that if we can put the work in and be consistent with it, number one, we're gonna grow to love it, and we're gonna grow to love that routine most likely, but it's gonna pay off massively with enough time. Okay, one final set here. Let's crush it. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Yeah, I think we did it all right there. Whew. I don't think there was much of anything left. We're gonna get this put away and then we're gonna move on to some cable curls. We got one puppy. We got one. <gasps> There's two of you. There's two. Two puppies? No way. No way. Huh. Oh, my boys. Oh, 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 oh. We got all these people. 
in the squat rack. You can't all woo in the squat rack. You hear me? I don't think they're listening. All right, last set here. These are feeling freaking good so far. So let's hammer this last one out here. We're really focused on keeping that elbow in the same spot and just trying to basically just pull our wrist to our head. As much as we can though, we're trying to keep that elbow stationary. Freaking tough one. One more. One more. Oh boy. Oh. <sighs> All right. Let's do some tricep uh, push downs here. Whew. Oh man, this cold weather is interesting. Always fun dance between being staying warm and getting sweaty. And when it's cold out like this, you really don't want to get sweaty. You know, it's not sub freezing inside here. It's about somewhere between 40 and 45 inside of here. So I've got two, technically three layers on. I got the tank top on under this now. I had three over shirts on. Now I just have the two. Uh, this dry fit hoodie one and then uh, this flannel from 32. It's uh, keeping me nice and toasty. It's just like right on the brink though of that sweat. I don't really like it. But I can tell that if I took this off, I'd probably be pretty darn cold here really quickly. Oh well, what are we going to do? Alright, set number two. Oh man, we barely got that last one there. <laughs> All right, last set. <sighs> this is gonna be a tough one, but uh, we're gonna do everything we can to get through it and really just focus on that squeeze down at the bottom here. Getting that full extension and really, really, you know, pulling it around our waist almost to get as deep of a stretch as we can.
Oh boy. Oh, last count. Oh. That's all I got. I don't know how many that was exactly. 14, 13. Ah. Whew. Okay. Triceps are toasted. Let's go and do some bicep stuff, huh? <laughs> all right, time for some curls here. We're doing some incline stretch curls, meaning we're gonna be letting them go all the way down and let them stretch out and then bring it up. And then we're gonna be supersetting with some forearm curls as well, which we'll be doing one at a time. So it's gonna be pretty quick back and forth here. Um, not any, not no rest between the forearm curls back to the dumbbell curls. That's kind of gonna be our rest period, so to speak. And this should get us to a complete failure. Let's get after it. 35s here. Yeah, that was good. Okay. Let's do some forearm curls here. Ooh, that's tough. Man, I think that's going to be just a bit too much weight there for those forearm curls this week. Whew. Okay, taking these down just one here, uh, uh, rather one, one turn of the knob, so to speak. We're going down to 30 pounds on these dumbbells. I want to get a little bit more time in the stretch of this curl, and I felt like at 35 I wasn't going to be able to do it. Honestly, 30 is probably still going to be pretty tough too. So we'll do this at 30, and then we're going to be taking our forearm curls way down. Closer to the 15, maybe 17. We'll see which one feels best. We'll probably start at 17 though. Still too much even. Uh, gonna be dropping those down again. All right, forearm curl way down. 17 and a half, this already feels way more manageable. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, went to 35. Can I help you? Huh? I'm in the middle of something. I think that was 15. Was it? Nah, hold on. You're so needy. Hold on. Ooh. Oh, good boy. What do you think about the deep stretch? Huh? Did I have good form? It was just okay? All right. All right, we're taking it down to 22 and a half. Let's just really focus on the full ROM here. I'm taking it home. Oh, oh my God. Oh, come on. Let's do three more. One, two, three. Oh, that's it. Hooey. Last thing here. Whew. That was tough, man. That was freaking tough. Uh, I know where you're putting yourself, which is in the pathway where my hands are going to go, but I got to do these forearm curls, okay? 
Yeah, I gotta do these ones. Let me do these. Okay. Sit. Thank you. Don't you will woo at me. I'll put you in just a second. Okay, I guess right now. You really know how to pick an exercise that just don't you talk back. You really know how to pick an exercise to distract me on, you know? All right. This felt very good. Very nice. I know. Let me know in the comments your favorite forearm exercises. I'm curious. I think I know the, you know, the majority of them. Uh, you know, wrist curls, uh, these dumbbell wrist curls, even like cable wrist curls. And then, of course, I've got like the wheel that you spin up with the string. But I'm curious what you guys do for forearms, if anything, to target forearm training. I like to throw it in. Um, do we need to train it specifically? Not really. My grip strength is pretty good. But I have been liking uh, doing more and more and more of it. And I do want to get, especially as summer gets here, you can kind of open the doors and go out in the, on the pavement, uh, rather the driveway a little bit more. I do want to get some more grip training implements just to work that a bit more. Okay, we got cable crunches left, so let's get this put away. Let's finish up with those and get the heck out of here. All right, pretty good amount of weight loaded up here today, 115 pounds. Let me crank these out and finish this workout up. Smidge too much there. Made a pretty zealous jump up from 100 pounds. better all right so our last set here for today it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a good day i just got a feeling it's gonna be a busy day it's definitely gonna be a busy day on my end but i think it's gonna be a good one so we're gonna crank out the last of these cable crunches here and i'm gonna bid you adieu this is where i say farewell have a good rest of your day good rest of your week keep on grinding keep on doing you i know you're taking on as much as you can you're getting as much done as you can. Maybe you even feel like throwing in the towel a little bit. But don't do it. We'll get there. We'll finish this up. And we're going to get done what we said we were going to get done. Let's get some stuff done. I'll see you next time. Take care.